they are, they don't come out no more, don't, or don't want to come out. You know, looking for excuses why they don't come out. You know. say that we're extreme. They'll say that we're part of a cult. They're like you in a cult. You're too extreme. You got too much anger. You know what I'm saying? They say we got too much anger. Like why the hell? What's why? Why don't you have anger? I wonder why everybody else ain't angry. Oh, you know you yeah. So, so these women. These women ain't with you, these women are the enemy. What's up, fag? That's why if you're into this truth, we're out here teaching this truth. Like, look at it, look at this garments we're wearing. Now, if a woman sees it, a woman don't want to have nothing to do with this. They're like, oh, I ain't going to be nowhere near you with you wearing that. You know what I mean? Because that, because a bitch is simple. You know what I'm saying? A bitch is simple. A bitch is simple. She sees us making a poster. She ain't she's like, what you doing that poster? You can go hold out signs on the street. Oh, oh no, how can you do that? But that's, that's, that's a mind of a simple bitch. That's why, if it, really, if a bitch, if you had a wife and she had a problem with you uh, teaching the Bible, I mean, really, she deserves to get punched in the face, man. Really. She's confused, she was, she's trying to fill some role that, you know, she don't fit in. Her job is only for her to lay down with her, you know? Because a woman... Yeah, because a woman, she all, is always one of the main reasons why people don't uh, do the work, why people don't teach. Because the wife don't want it, because she... Because the wife, the woman gets ashamed. Because us coming out here, a woman is ashamed of that. She don't want to have nothing to do with that. She don't want people to know that you with, that you with her. There you go, James 1, and um, we'll start at 21. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engraft word which is able to save you. I'm sorry, which is able to save your souls. Same thing. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Yeah, because you can't just say, oh, I got the spirit in me, so I'm just going to keep the spirit to myself. You know what I mean? And I try to spread the love. Because if you, you really, people always want to talk about love, teaching the, teaching this truth is love. Coming on the streets as real love. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Yeah, because when, uh, when you have this truth, if you heard us teach, like people will be on the internet. I know there's all kinds of people on the internet that watch our videos and don't never go out and teach, you know? Or they don't even make, all they want to do is just learn it for themselves but they don't want to share it, you know? They don't want to, because after you get the truth, you're supposed to go teach. That's the whole point of learning the truth. So you can go teach it. That's right, that's right. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. 
<laughs> and not only that, I mean, it goes farther than just coming out here teaching on the street. Mm -hmm. But this is just one part. Like, you, you ain't never supposed to have no shame of the lure. I'm like, if you're, a bunch, if you're around a bunch of your family members and, they, and they're talking bad stuff about the most high, you're supposed to curse them out with the scriptures. You ain't supposed to hold back. That's right. You, I, you know, who cares if it causes problems? That's good. We're here to cause problems. We we're, we're, here, rise. Yeah, we're, we're here to make you uncomfortable. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say to rise out of sleep. Now, when you wake up, what if somebody's late for work and you got to wake them up? You just like, just barely tap them. You're going to yell at them. Like, wake the fuck up. Or like, what what you got? Like, your little kid is in the middle of the street. About to get hit by a car. Do you whisper at him? Talk gently to him. Get out the street. Right, right. He's not even going to hear you. You say it with a loud, mean voice, so he knows it's serious. Because if you don't, he's going to get hit by the car. He's going to die. Mm. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, you got to be mean, man. Trying yeah, to you, take you out of truth. yeah, you got to be mean to people. I like your woman. If you got a woman, you got to be mean to her. You got to be. You got to tell her. You got to look. If you're getting with a woman, if you're in the truth. You gotta let her know, like straight up, like, look, if you're gonna be with me, you're not eating pork. If you eat, if you eat pork, I'm not gonna be with you. That's what you got. At least a woman that you're gonna be with, tell her not to eat pork. At least. They she'll do it behind your back anyway, because she's a demon. Fucking sluts, man. But yeah, because yeah, bitch, that's how she can claim she don't eat pork and she's down with you, but she's still eating it when she go over to her mom's house. Oh, we talked to y'all before. Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and get uh, John 12 and 15. They'll back you up on that. Or you got some, or get that revelation. That was good. You already had it. Let's get that first. Yeah, get that. Revelation 3 and 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So, I'll keep going. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will speed thee out of thy mouth. So the Lord said, you, you're either in the truth all the way, doing what we're doing, and you're not in it at all. You can't have one foot in the truth to one foot out the truth. Okay, that's not acceptable. You either you got to be on fire with the truth or not in it at all. Actually, give me a second Timothy 2. Uh, give me second Timothy 2. Let's start at the top. Second Timothy 2 start at the top. Cause you gotta be in the truth all the way. It's like when you play a poker, you gotta put- Who's in there on that poker? Oh, uh, they probably was. I'm getting it. But like, when you play poker, it's like we playing a game of poker, we, we ain't really gamble, we put all of our chips oh. in. You know what I mean? Cause, cause really we cheating, cause we got the lure, so we already know we gonna win. Yeah, uh, we playing a rigged game. You know how they rig sports games? The game we playing the most high rigged it, so we gonna win. Uh, when I say 2 Timothy 2, yeah, get 2 Timothy 2 starting the top. What is it? Am I good? Yeah, yeah. Because it was going with what we was talking about. Because it said you, gotta be, you can't be lukewarm, you gotta be hot, you gotta be on fire. Actually, that's not what I wanted. Right here, let me read this one. Um, Ecclesiastes um, 8, 19 and 2. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that cleaveth to knowledge will become improved. Yes, yeah, that is correct. You want to turn the pages in there if you want. There's gonna be more destruction coming like it came in hit New Jersey. That was beautiful. Yep. Oh, that is what I wanted, second yep. Timothy. This one? Yeah, two. Oh no, I was thinking something else. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, uh, this is Ecclesiastes 19 and 2. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. Say that's right. You can't cleave unto a harlot. You know what I mean? Because the scripture said, when a man lay down with a woman, you and that woman become one flesh and one spirit. 
So when you lay down with a whore and you lay down with an adulterous woman, you're taking on the spirit of all those men that she slept with. Demons. All those demons. All them different sperm cells that's up in her. You're taking on all those spirits. Because most of these women, they just, uh, what are they call They're cum repositories. Everybody's like a cum bank. They, they just come and they, just, just, they, they make a deposit. Right, right. Sperm ducts. That's a better word for it. So, because, you know, life forms from a sperm cell. Because if you think about it, you know where that, that funk comes from somewhere. It's a dumpster when you smell that shit. That's it like is. a dumpster, a su sewage. Smelling that shit, these bitches open their legs. Woo! Like, damn! Baby, you ever heard of a free clinic? Shit, get it. Mine's more like a recycle. <laughs> a recycle, damn! Said, but people are good with that. They good with women. They good with women being hoes. Like, like the sound people, like women get made fun of now for the damn version, they get made fun of. Right. You know? Most and worms shall have him to heritage, and a bold man yeah, shall that, be taken yeah, that away. That is like moth and worms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But actually, you get with a woman, sometimes it's like you almost literally have, have to put her through some kind of purification process before you get up in it. You know what I mean? Lies. Lies. Huh? Lies. What did you say? Lies. Lies. No, Dude, not no. like lying, but like the chemical. You said lying? The chemical lie. Right, lie. Right, oh, right, lie. Right, right, right. That's what I don't. I thought you said I was lying. <laughs> I thought, no, like. <laughs> okay. He that is hasty to give credit is like minded, light minded. And he that is sinner uh, shall offend against his own soul. This is talking about these women, being with these women. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because like, yeah, when, yeah, when, when, you, when you lay down with a hoe, yeah, you. I mean, like I said, you, it's like you had sex with all those men that she had you sex with. You're going to turn the page for that. Because you know there's a scripture in the, in the law, what's that, Deuteronomy, I think? And it says a man that lies with the, with, with the with another man's wife that you've seen your brother's nakedness. Yeah, that's the law. You know what I mean? So really, when, it's like if I had, if I commit adultery with a, with a, if I slept with another man's wife, for example, like it's, it's wife. like, it's the same thing as me having sex with that man. Yeah. You know, so really, and I don't find you attractive. <laughs> that, so really, if you commit adultery, that really means you're a homosexual too. Whoso taketh really pleasure, whoso, whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned. But he that resists yeah, pleasure they, shall. Oh my fault, yeah, because they, they make songs about that. They take pleasure in doing wickedness. Mm -hmm. You listen to the radio, all these rappers talking about is like I fucked your bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fucked your wife. And then you got girls. Bragging too, talking about I stole your man. You know what I mean? So these, and you got that, who's that bitch, Nicki Minaj? That slut and that hoe. That's just like the most famous female rapper, right? And all, every last song she's got is about sucking dick, licking pussy, talking about how fat her ass is. So that the Lord's gonna destroy that hoe, man. And any any little bitches out there that want to act like Nicki, the mob, whatever that bitch's name is, they gonna get destroyed too. Cause all these little girls want to be like Nicki Minaj. Teach their daughters. Yeah, it's disgusting, man. What? Yeah, when Nicki Minaj, she's like that because her mom was a hoe. Huh? Oh, well, how do you say? It? Yeah, my, yeah, like yeah, her name means the Minaj a trois. That's, like a, <laughs> that's a freak fest, you know. So, where, where are the numbers from the pie chart? It comes with the Zachariah. You ever read the book? Of, we can get it for you. The book of Zachariah. To, uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah it's Zachariah, but like the 66 percent. That's, like that's uh, two-thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed. Two-thirds of our people, they, they got to go. They got to go because they're too damn wicked. Two-thirds of like, like, like I was just talking about that slut, Nicki Minaj. She's part of the two thirds club. She's gonna die. Same thing with Lil Wayne. Look, you know who Lil Wayne is? Yeah, of course. He's a faggot. He's a homosexual. The Lord's gonna destroy him. And anybody that wants to be like Lil Wayne, they're gonna die too. Here you go, Zechariah uh, 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part. But the third shall be left therein. So he said one third is going to make it, two thirds are going to be destroyed. Now, where are the 144,000 prophets going? That's in the book of Revelation. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the elect. Okay. It says, it says 144? Yeah, yeah, let me get that. Let me get that. That's what book is that? It's King James. 
paying all of it. Things ain't fine. We're fine. Thank you. Yeah, King James is the best Bible. You gotta watch out for some of them Bibles out there. Just like, actually, watch out for them. I got it for you. Here you go. Uh, Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Yes, sir. That's proof that the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites. And you know, you go to these churches, and they be like, Jesus loves the whole world. He came to, the Lord is already coming to save the nation of Israel. That's it, man. That's not, I don't say it like that. That's a lot of people. You know what I mean? Because Israel is the greatest nation on earth. Yeah, there's more, still gonna make a, yeah, yeah, there's more, there's a, yeah. There's still gonna be a great number. Hey, read about that great multitude in there, Revelation, the seventh chapter, since you was right there. Okay, my bad. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because the, the Lord, he made, back in the book of Genesis, you can read how the Most High made a promise to Abraham. He said, I'm going to make you a seed as numerous as the stars of heaven and as numerous as the sands of the seashore. So our people are the most numerous people on the planet. And we're scattered among all nations. I know we get there. Revelation 7 and, um, you want me to go through the whole list? No, nah, not the whole list. I take off. We go to the point. No, the actual right. part where it said the first fruits. If you can get that. The first fruits? Yeah, because that 144,000, that's the elect. That's the first fruits. That, that's the chief, like the chief one. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like the best of the crops. The cream of the crops. Then you got the rest of the one third. But that that one third, that's a that's a big number too. <laughs> yeah, it's the same chapter. Well, it doesn't matter. You can just get to the point. I think it might be the beginning or something. I can't remember. Right off the top of the day. It's all in that. Yeah, it's all in that chapter. Let's get those boots. He ain't gonna say it on camera. He's gonna like make jokes about it. Right, right. No, I just those are nice boots. I'm looking for a pair of boots. Walmart. Sorry. Walmart? All right. Keep that down. Seven and nine. <laughs> After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand. Yeah, because that's talking about when the Lord comes back, he's, he's going to gather Israel from all the nations where they've been scattered. Because Israel has been scattered among all nations. So when the Lord comes back, he's going to gather all the Israelites up from all nations. Does that mean we're all traced back from Israel? No. Well, some of them. Not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. We're all traced back from Africa. No, no, no. Get the wheat and the tares. You can get there yeah, or something. Parable. You know about the parable of the wheat and tares? Nope. I do know the yeah. where they're from, and they trace the genetics back to the human, human genome project. They trace genetic code all the way back to Africa. Yeah, because they're doing that because the people, the elite that control the earth and control the, uh, the, the academic world, they're eugenicists. So they're obsessed with uh, genetics. I mean, that's just oh, a lot. Yeah, because if that's your field, I mean, that, you wouldn't want to focus on that. Yeah, all, all, of, all of, everything that's taught in these schools is all based upon eugenics. Like the theory of evolution, that, that's a theory that was started by a eugenicist. Like Darwin was a eugenicist. He believed that he was part of a superior race, okay? Which he wasn't. He was a caveman. Actually, you know? the eugenics program was a reaction. Like, uh, social Darwinism was a reaction to Darwin's theories. Well, yeah, I mean, because like the people thought that they were like the superior race, so they like warped. Uh, so that's the same thing warped, with the. Uh, that's why they try to make up. They try to say all languages come from a, a certain root, which it does. But they make up a language called the Indo-European language. You heard of that? Yeah. That's all based on racism. It's based upon. Uh, it was, that's something that was created by eugenicists. And there's no Indo-European people. That's something they made up. You know. It's just so they can justify their wickedness. Like African American, that was made up. The, the word Caucasian is made up. All that shit is made up. The Negroid, Mongoloid. Nigger. Or niggas. Yeah, that's all. They just label it. So. 
people. See, you call people, refer to people as niggas in the Bible. Because you can't even judge yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's in the scriptures. Don't you know that, you know the Bible tells you even where white people come from? Right. Do you, you know where the first white person came from? Did it say Garden of Eden? No. <laughs> well, actually, there was one up in there. <laughs> There was one slithering I, I around. I would contest them, not really, but that's just me. It's not the circle. That's when he was venturing yeah. out. Oh, yeah. That was when she was venturing out. She's curious, out, she's out. Curious about all this, like, this is what's going on now. Eve is doing the same shit she doing back then. She doing the same shit now. Yeah, because don't you know, uh, cause like, like, you know, Darwin and all them, they all thought that because they was white, they was superior. Because most white people, like, a lot of them think that they superior. But don't you know, actually, white skin is a, is leprosy in the Bible. It's a skin condition. It's actually an actual curse. It's a, it's a, it's Whiteness a, is a curse? It's a plague. Yeah, right. It's a plague. There's a reason why he made, there's a reason why it's here. You know, it's to serve a purpose. Okay, I'm going to read the parable. Oh, go ahead. Okay, this is Matthew uh, 13 and 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man with so good, with so good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and yeah, sowed Yeah, so what's that good seed? That good seed, that's the nation of Israel. That's the Israelites, the Lord's chosen people. That's that good seed, the seed of Abraham, the seed of Isaac and Jacob. But while men slept, his enemies came and sowed tares among the wheat. So the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Just like when you have a garden, and they got weeds growing up in your garden. The same thing happened to our garden. Nation of Israel is likened unto a vineyard, okay? We got weeds growing, our vineyard's all messed up. It's got weeds growing all through it. Keep going. And when his way. Because actually it's like this the whole planet Earth. Because you know how a farmer grows crops. The most high is the chief farmer. And the earth is his is his farm. And the most high is farming people. Okay? Keep going. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit. Then appeared, appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. Lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Yeah, so we like we can't come out here and just start like killing people and stuff. Taking, you know, right. saying, oh, you're the devil, so I'm gonna kill you. No, that's that's our job is to teach this word. Because we might be wrong, you know, we we might judge someone wrong. Right. Uh, keep going. Let both grow together until the harvest. That harvest is the end time. Yeah, the end time. When the actual destruction is coming. That's the harvest. Like this, like this devil, in this society, he teaches you that the Grim Reaper is like the devil. That's the spirit. It's something bad. Right Do you know who the Grim Reaper is? The angel of death? Yeah. That's the one you call Jesus. That's the angel of death. That's the Reaper. That's okay. the actual Reaper. He's the Grim Reaper. Right. Let both grow together uh, until he, the harvest. And, and it's going to be grim, too. He's going to get grim. Yeah, it's going to get different. dark. It's going to get gloomy. It's going to be blood running down his drum. That's what people don't want to tell you. Well, finally something will clean it up. I mean, don't you, you know the story of the Exodus? Well, that's what's going to happen. It's going to have to take a divine intervention to stop all this complete fucking madness that's going on. You, ever, you know the story of the Exodus? When the angel of death came through and killed uh, the firstborn Pharaoh's son and all that? Yeah, yeah. The angel of death, the way he came, he killed every, all the Egyptians, firstborn son. Anybody that didn't have the blood on the door got killed. Yeah. Okay? So, so that, that was the Lord. That was Yahweh Shad. He was that angel of death. Okay? Which was Jesus? Yes. The Lord himself. So Jesus acted before Jesus came to the Well, he, he's been, he, he was the Alpha and the Omega. He was the first created being in the universe. He's always been here. He's always been he's here. We, we was here before the earth was formed. We, before the earth was formed. We, hey, give me that real quick. Ephesians 1 and 4. You familiar with reincarnation? Yeah. So that's real. It's all through the scripture reincarnation. You know, and they understood that. Some of them understood that. The, 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 actually, the earth was created specifically for us. You know what I'm saying? Because we was here before the earth was formed. And the most high is like, here you go. I'm going to give you a gift. And he created the earth for us. 
Yeah, before he get that, he said, I'll let Reader, he's already got it. It's oh, real quick. Right. Right. Go I'll go ahead, just real quick. Ephesians 1 and 4. According as he has chosen us in him. So we was chosen, keep going. Before the foundation of the world. So we was chosen before the earth was even formed. I'll go ahead. This is Matthew 19 and 28. In Yahweh Shai, verbatim, and Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Regenerate, what is that word? You know, you know the meaning of words? What is the word uh, generation? It comes from the word gene or genesis. What does the word Genesis mean? It means the beginning. It's like uh, the book of Genesis is called Genesis because that was in the beginning. Okay? But like, you know, your genes, like your, your body's made up of genes, right? Uh, okay. That, that, that means what they do is It has to do with uh, the beginning. So when it says the regeneration, it, it means the rebirth. To, to go back to the beginning. To start life over again. So read that again. Matthew 19 and 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. The regeneration, it's just another word for reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So that even ha hasn't happened yet. And he was talking to the disciples then too. And, uh, and all those, like he was talking to Peter. Peter got crucified upside down. So he, now that didn't, so that hasn't happened yet. He's talking about in the regeneration, when you come back to life in the future in a new body. That's right, brother. Yep. Okay, back to Matthew. Yeah, so, uh, I bet y'all didn't know reincarnation was in the Bible, did you? Uh, I mean, there's no wrong with not knowing something. Now we know. Yeah. I saw this faintly hinted. Not necessarily a thing. Well, Christianity came up with. Uh, actually, no, actually, no, no. Christianity is, Christianity as you know it is all paganism. Every last bit of it is 100% paganism. Every, every, all their, they celebrate Christmas, Halloween, uh, all these pagan holidays, Easter. You know where Easter comes from? It's the Babylonian uh, Syrian goddess Ishtar. The Easter comes from the word Ishtar. Ishtar is the Babylonian goddess of fertility and prostitution. Okay, but we got these retarded Christians celebrating Easter because they're pagans. The church is actually that well, the world is controlled by Satan. Okay, we in Satan's kingdom right now. That, that's why that's why the Catholic Church they pray to Mary and say Mary was a virgin. Mary was not a virgin. And then they send up prayers to Mary. And the scriptures nowhere in the scriptures say to praise Mary or send up prayers to Mary. And they really worship the Queen of Heaven because the Queen was saying Ishtar. Uh, Isis, you know what Isis is? Yeah. The Bible talks about Isis. They both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares, and yeah. bind them in bundles yeah. to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. And that goes along with that two-thirds and spiritual tares too. You know, the two thirds, they're gonna get burned up too. Keep going. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds. Yeah, because mustard seed is real small. Keep going. Uh, it's but, actually not the small seed. But... Well, of course not. It's just a parable, though. I mean, you get technical, but. It doesn't matter because we know what it's talking about. Keep going. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs. It becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spake he unto them. The kingdom of heaven is like unto het leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. All these things spake your house shy oh, yeah. the multitude. I actually that's a good because people always want to talk about numbers. They be like, well, y'all ain't doing shit. Y'all ain't got four people out here. Well, the Lord don't deal in large numbers. He, the Lord ain't dealing with the scriptures say only a few shall be saved. And I got a scripture to back that up. Well, we are more brothers Because this yeah, cause cause you got these churches like Joe Osteen got the biggest church and he's a faggot. 
He's a straight homosexual. You know who Joe Osteen is? Yeah, he's a smiling preacher. Who's that preacher who just settled out of court for oh, like... Oh, uh, Eddie Long. Eddie Long is court. He settled out of court for like $47 million. Like, how... Homosexuals are here. This here in Columbus? A lot. Two-thirds? <laughs> Two-thirds? <laughs> Two-thirds. Look, the Lord, the Lord don't give a damn about how many people you got, okay? Everybody knows the story of David and Goliath. David, David was a young man and killed a giant with a, with a rock. Yeah, let me read this real quick. Judith 9 and 11. For thy power standeth not in a multitude, nor thy might in strong men. For thou art a God of the afflicted, a helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that are without hope. So the Lord ain't dealing with no. The Lord said He came to. He, Scripture said many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. I got. I'm gonna get that too. Let's get that one. That's in there. Our John was. Oh, yeah. Seven chapter. For? Uh, talking about the multitude of people. I'll go ahead. Okay, so uh, this is I'm going back to that 13 because so I want to go back to that 10. Right. Uh, Matthew 7 and um, 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Yeah, that's the golden rule, right? But don't nobody want to do that. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Enter at the straight gate. What's the straight gate? That means you got to walk being in this truth is like walking a tightrope, okay? Oh, go ahead. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Oh, yeah, because so like the Bible says, don't eat pork. So that means if you're in the truth, you can't eat pork. Okay, that's against the law. No more sausage and pepper. No more sausage, no more pepper, no more, uh, no more catfish, no more shrimp. No, shrimp. No, no. Oh, that's, oh, that's an abomination. No more celebrating Christmas. You can't be in the truth celebrating Christmas. That doesn't make any sense. Hell, yesterday was what? Yesterday Halloween? Yeah, then we yeah, got, yeah, yeah. we got think, hey, all the evil spirits was out because everybody was participating in the satanic ritual. But you know the origins of Halloween go back to child sacrifice. That's why they got little children walking around because it represents the, them getting sacrificed to the devil. Because mm. that's, that's an ancient Celtic ritual. Druids. Yeah. And they, back the, the Celtics, they don't sacrifice children to appease the gods, the, you know, so, we could ask Israel so they can make it through the tough winter, they'd sacrifice children. Hoping, hopefully the, the nature gods don't jack them up. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of damn heathens, man. Right. But actually, because America, the elite of this country, they, they worship those ancient pagan gods. That's why uh, the days of the week are named after pagan gods. Like Sunday, that's the day of the sun. Monday is the day of the moon. Tuesday is the day of Mars. Wednesday's the day of Odin. Thursday's the day of Thor. Friday's the day of Frigg. Saturday's the day of Saturn. It's each, la each and every last day in the week the is pagan. Even the days, the months are pagan. January is named after Janus, the Roman god of doorways. Uh, uh, March is named after uh, Mars, the god of war. So everything in this whole nation is pagan and it's an abomination. So, yeah, America's the kingdom of Satan. Straight up. Do you believe that? That's really? why you look on the back of a dollar bill. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to think. You look on the back of a dollar bill, they got the eye of Horus over a pyramid. What does the Bible have to say about Egypt? Not nothing nice. Egypt got destroyed for being wicked and evil. Everybody knows the story of the Exodus. The Mo Most High killed the Pharaoh's firstborn son. He killed all the Egyptians' firstborn son. He said, the hell with your damn Egypt. The hell with your pyramids. That's why I pray those Muslims over there in the Middle East destroy those pyramids. You know, the Muslims said they was going to blow the pyramids up, right? And I pray they blow them damn pyramids to pieces. If they don't, the Most High is going to do it. Yeah, so you all, you gotta be tight. You can't be loose. 
You know what I mean? Like a whorish woman is loose. Like a virgin is tight. You know? And many there be. And the scriptures called us virgins. We're like an under virgins. He said we gotta prepare ourselves as a chance virgin. That's walking that tight road. Walking that straight gate. And roll is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. So most people are gonna get destroyed. Like this scripture said, many are called, but few are chosen. Like they definitely got us right there, they gone. Yeah, they gone. Why well, they going that's part of that destruction. That's part of that fuel for that fire. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So they only going to be a few that's going to get that life. Beware of false prophets. And what's that life? Yeah, how Shai said, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one can come to the Father but by me. It's the only way. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I got to head out. I still have to go. Sorry, okay. I got to go. All right, man. Let's go. 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 They kissed the last time they were out here. They did that on purpose. Oh well, This is the spirit. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Like yeah, we came out here. If I came out here and talked in a real smooth voice and uh, uh, talking. Oh, well, you know, if I came out here trying to charm people like a snake, talking all nice and talk with a hypnotic voice, talking a real low monotone voice, I could hypnotize people, put them in a trance and make them listen to me, and speak sweet, soft words to them. Wait, oh, that's oh, fucking, man, I pray the Lord destroy these people. But see, if we came out here talking like a fag with a sweet, soft voice, you know what I'm saying? People will love us, man. They, they, they'd be out. We have crowds of people. They'd be giving us money. Shit, we wouldn't even be out here. We'd have a church getting paid. Talking some sweet, soft words. You get paid doing that, man. But we ain't going to do that. We you shall... Oh, go ahead. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? So, yeah, it's all them preachers. That, like, they got their thorns, man. Because really, when you go to these churches, you're getting pricked by a thorn. And really, you destined yourself for destruction. Because all these churches, they all going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to destroy all these faggot-ass preachers. Oh. Teaching all this bullshit in these churches. Teaching all these lies. Says I, mean, I don't like talking about them. They disgust me. So the Lord's just going to fucking destroy them. There ain't, ain't no discussing it. Ain't no debating it. Ain't nobody going to come up and say, oh, that's not the love of Jesus. No, that is the love of Jesus. So you're making a public example of most a lot of these motherfuckers, wicked ass preachers. And by the Lord destroying them, that's to him showing that he loves us. Yep. Like the other day when that preacher got killed.